Hey there Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your next 48 hours, my lovely Sag. We're going to take a look at your energy and then get into the tarot. So let's get your messages. Okay, Sagittarius, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You know, wow, there may be new love coming in for you, my beautiful Sagittarius. Let's take a look some more. Let's get your angel message. What angel message do we have for Sagittarius next 48 hours? Okay, we have divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Okay, so you're learning lessons at the moment. You're going through different situations. Okay, now let's take a look at your money. What's going on with Sagittarius the next 48 hours? going on with Sagittarius the next 48 hours. Okay, look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sagittarius. Okay, so you're stepping out and showing out, Sagittarius. But Spirit is letting you know, you know, take a look at what's going on. You know, you may need to look at your finances. You may need to really take control of the money that you're spending on the money that you're putting out. Maybe you have more money going out than you have coming in, you know, or maybe you're making plans and now you need to really rely on the, the total picture, the bigger picture to stay motivated in putting money away. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot, see what's going on for Sagittarius. Give me a message, well, for Sagittarius. So, first comes out. I'm liking it. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Opportunity, unexpected opportunity, happy opportunities. You know, these are surprises. Some kind of surprise opportunity is coming forward for you. Okay, you may be winning money or you may have a surprise job offer, some kind of opportunity that's coming in for you. Uh, this could also dealing with love. This could also be dealing with, you know, a surprise opportunity for someone who has a lot of affection for you, right? More messages for Sagittarius. Way too many cards. Messages for Sagittarius. Okay, so we have, wow, the Six of Cups. Yeah, if this is a love situation, I feel like this is a surprise opportunity. Um, maybe to be around family more, have more time to spend with family. This could be actually having time to build your family, right? Um, but there's an opportunity here. More messages for Sagittarius. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh. The High Priestess in reverse and the Strength card. Okay. So I feel like, you know, when this may be due to your finances. Having to look at the bigger picture, my beautiful Sag. It could be that, you know, you're not feeling very supported right now. There's a lot of things that are up in the air that you're not sure of, you know, that you just don't have the answer for. And you're needing to have strength in your situation to take advantage of some opportunity, but be fearless in doing it, right? Um, let's go ahead and get some more messages and we'll go ahead and look deeper into this message. Okay, we have the Judgment card, the Two of Cups. Definitely new love coming in for you. You know, this could be something that's happening within its own divine timing. And we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, we have the Magician at the bottom. So I feel like this Magician at the bottom, this could be you manifesting some kind of situation. You have everything that you need to create the situation that you want. But you simply don't have the actions to take it at the moment. Right? Uh, but you have the passion. You definitely have the passion 
but you just don't know where to start. You don't know what actions to take. And maybe you don't have the support as well, right? Um, but I feel like, you know, whatever this is that you're wanting to create, whether it's a family, a lifestyle, um, building on this opportunity, you know, this is a very big opportunity coming in for you. And it has to do with family. It has to do with family that you've already created or family that you are creating, right? Um, so let's take a look. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone in this situation is really jealous of you. They're jealous of what you've created, what you've what you're bringing about, you know? And I feel like there's there's something that's being left unsaid. Someone's not telling you the full truth. Okay? Um, someone's keeping a lot of secrets. Or there's someone who's around you who has a hidden agenda. You know, that's the reason why we have this, um, this energy here topped off with the strength card because the spirit is letting you know to be strong in this situation to have strength you know to be aware of the situation the queen of pentacles in reverse this could be also someone who has this smothering energy you know someone who just wants to take and they don't want to give right they they but i'm, I'm really feeling like someone is really jealous of some situation that you're in they feel like you know you have so much more potential than they do is what i'm getting they have so much more potential um and i feel like you you totally you may see it this may have to do with love okay this may have to do with your finances but i feel like you know you know what this is you you can kind of feel it okay um because i feel like you know with this with this judgment energy this is an awakening you know something is taking you out of your comfort zone so that you can experience this, you know, it's like really taking a risk, but making some kind of final decision or changing your, your life for a certain situation, you know, something is life changing and it could have to do with this love, you know, this two of cups energy, it could have to do with love. You know, some kind of partnership, some kind of um, agreement that you've come into, okay? Um, but I feel like with being paired up with the Seven of Swords, I feel like there's, there's someone who may be very strategic in something that they're doing. Someone may be very manipulative in a certain situation. So that's something that I want you to be aware of. Okay, Sag? Just be aware that there's some kind of deception here. There's someone who um, may be deceiving you. The Seven of Swords, this is being very strategic. Okay? And because he's stealing those swords. You know, this can also be lying, cheating, and stealing. Okay? So being right underneath the Two of Cups energy, it's like this deals with love or some kind of partnership that you're in. Okay? So, I just want you to be aware of that. We're going to go ahead and clarify too. So, let's go ahead and get some clarity for Sagittarius. Get some clarity. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? What is this opportunity? 
What is this surprise coming forward for Sagittarius? What aren't they expecting? Okay, the judgment. You aren't expecting this new beginning, this fresh start. You know, um, it's something that you're just not expecting. You're not expecting these changes that you're going through. You know, the, this is a life changing opportunity. Okay, give me a, a message for the Ace of Pentacles. What is this opportunity? What is this opportunity coming through? The star. Healing energy, you know, something that you wished for, something that you've hoped for, my beautiful Sagittarius, something that you hoped for is now coming through, you know, something that you have wished upon a star for, you know, this could also be you becoming the star. Having that renewed hope. The star can also be miracles. So you may see this opportunity as some sort of miracle. Okay? So give me a message for the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Give me a message for the Six of Cups. Success. Okay, something is going to be very successful. You're going to be recognized. The things that you've put out into the world, the things that you've done, you're now being recognized for. This is your reward for all that effort. Okay, someone sees you and all the effort that you've done. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse? Give me a message. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse? Yeah, someone doesn't like your truth. Someone feels very jealous of the truth that you're speaking, right? They feel like you're much more prepared, like you have more training or you have more intellect. You have, a, you know, a better drive than they do, you know? Someone thinks that your ideas... You have better ideas. Okay, so someone's very jealous of something that you're doing. But in all reality, my beautiful Sagittarius, you're having a breakthrough. Definitely. This is a, an awakening. You know, I feel like your destiny is changing. Okay, why is the High Priestess here in reverse? Why is the High Priestess here in reverse? What secrets are being kept? Are you keeping secrets, my beautiful Sagittarius? Okay, the Strength card in reverse. Look at this. We have the Strength card upright, the Strength card in reverse. And we have the King of Pentacles on the bottom. Could be this King of Pentacles keeping these secrets. Could be an Earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Um, but the strength card in reverse with the high priestess in reverse. If this is you keeping the secret, my beautiful Sag, it's because you don't have all the answers. You're kind of in doubt about something. There's something that you're totally not sure of. You know, that's the reason why you don't have the strength that you need. Or it could be just simply pride getting in your way. You know, pride getting in the way of the stability. You know, the King of Pentacles, he can be very prideful sometimes. Although... You know, the King of Pentacles is usually a giving king. He usually takes care of the people that surround him, you know. But um, someone, someone's trying to be generous to you, my beautiful Sagittarius. And I feel like you may be letting pride get in the way, you know. You may be letting pride keep you from accepting a gift. You know, if someone wants to give you, give you something, 
accept it and say thank you. Right? Okay, let's get a message for the strength card. Why is the strength card here? The nine of cups in reverse. We have the ten of pentacles at the bottom. So there is prosperity. Um, wow. There is prosperity here. But the nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're not satisfied with the way something is going. You know, this is sad, dissatisfaction. You know, you may not be satisfied with where your money is going or where someone is putting their money at. Okay? Or where someone is building their wealth. Give me a message for the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Why is the judgment card here? Okay, we have the Four of Cups. Whoa, the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Wands. Okay, the Four of Cups is in reverse. So that's accepting this change. You're willing to accept the change, but I feel like you're not willing to take the action. Okay, you're willing to accept the change but you're not willing to take the action. I feel like, you know, with this Queen of Wands energy in the reverse, like I said, this can be very jealous energy or insecure, you know? Um, I feel like you know what you need to do. You know what actions you need to take. But you're very insecure about the changes that are going to come about. But you have this new beginning. This is a change in your life. You know, you have the Judgment card and the Wheel of Fortune. This is like, wow. You know, good fortune. Amplified. You know, a life change. But I feel like you're very insecure on where you're going to next. You just don't know. Okay, why is the Two of Cups here? Give me a message for the Two of Cups. The Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're holding back. You know, you've built up this mental shield, these mental walls. The, the Eight of Swords, this is, you know, building a mental prison around yourself, right? Uh, trying to protect yourself from the unknown. So I feel like that's what you're doing. And that may be what you're doing. You know, when it comes to love, if this is a love situation, my beautiful Sagittarius, maybe you've lost hope. In where love is leading you. Or you've lost hope in finding that certain someone. Okay. Um, but I feel like you've built up these mental walls. And now it's time to release yourself from these walls. Okay. Why is the seven of swords here? Give me a message. Why is the seven of swords here? The empress. You don't realize that you're the empress. You don't realize how fertile how beautiful, how attractive, how mothering you can be, right? And like I said before, this could be a miracle. With the Empress here, this could be you finally becoming a mother. You know, having success with building or creating a family. You know, if that's what you're focused on, I mean, it's here. It's here, my beautiful Sag. So if this is what you've been waiting on, there's a, there's your miracle, okay? Now, for all others of you, I, f I feel like you just don't see how successful, how abundant you truly are because of these walls that you've built in your, in your, men in your mentality, okay? But it's time to stand your ground, speak your truth with this King of Swords energy. Yeah, it, it's time to take action. You know, use your head over your heart. Don't be caught up in all that thinking. You know, this is your truth. You know, being set free. Okay, so let's go ahead and get an outcome for my beautiful Sagittarius. Let's get an outcome, please. What do we have for Sagittarius? Get an outcome. Um, 
Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Wow. Okay, at the bottom we have the King of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Seven of Wands. Okay. So, Sagittarius, your outcome. Um... I feel like, you know, you're not seeing the power that you have. You're not seeing things for what they really are. You may feel like things just aren't balanced at the moment. Like there may be some kind of strings attached some, to some kind of plans that you're trying to make. You know, um, but I feel like you are making good decisions and with this Two of Wands energy, this can also be a card of travel. So you could be making travel plans, um, but I feel like you're you're definitely making decisions. You're planning. You're thinking things through. You're trying to work things out because you're trying to let go of whatever burdens you used to have. And you're trying to be more responsible in the situation that you're in because... Um, this reading, I, I see a lot of accomplishment. You went through a lot of burdens, right? Uh, secrets, you know, you're going through some kind of breakthrough and I feel like that's an accomplishment in itself. Okay. So whatever that you're going through, Sagittarius, I feel like you've got it covered. You got it handled, you know, um, just enjoy the ride. Okay, let's go ahead and get some messages from my lovely Sagittarius. Okay, we have time to start something new. Yeah, believe in yourself. I'm liking this. Okay, let's get some messages. You are limitless. Yeah, have faith in yourself, right? Have faith in yourself, my beautiful Sag. You got this. Have faith. Okay, so let's get some messages from a lovely Sag. Okay, we have the outcome is going to be positive. You are headed for a happy reunion. We have it's time to act now. And I am trying to process my fears so that I can come back to you. We have miracles are occurring. And we have, you have to let go of something so something better can come. And we have stop living in the past. Okay? So, that is what we have. At the bottom we have, you are limitless. Okay? So beautiful, Sagittarius. So those are the messages that Spirit wants you to know at this moment. So let's go ahead and get you an angel number. And see what we have going on. See what's coming through for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Let's get an angel number. Okay, so we have 444 protection. So the angels are letting you know that you're being fully protected. You're being protected at this time, right? This is your time to take confidence in all that you pursue. The divine universe is working through you and protecting you. Time has come to allow all the doors of opportunity to welcome you with open arms. Okay, and your affirmation. I feel the loving care of the divine protecting me. And I allow myself to pursue growth and opportunity. Okay, so that is your reading, my beautiful Sagittarius. So if this reading resonates with you please like and subscribe and i hope this reading finds you well and if it doesn't resonate feel free to take a look at your other placements you can also take a look at your monthly reading and until your next reading my beautiful sagittarius many blessings to you love and light